Good evening. You're watching Left, Right and Center. I'm Natasha Jog. On the program this evening, the Delhi Dangal, BJP versus the rest. MCD poll, is it a referendum on Kejriwal? And after all those high profile uh, exits for the Congress, we're asking if the party is imploding. Well, uh, let's get started right away. Just a day to go for Delhi to vote in what's been a very high decibel civic election. In fact, many would agree it doesn't even feel like a civic election anymore. It's been very bitterly fought. The BJP, AAP, and Congress have paid its charges. Accusations have uh, brought out their big guns, and it's got very ugly as well. Well, uh, joining me on the program now, Sheila Dixit, uh, she's the former Delhi Chief Minister and a senior Congress uh, leader. I also spoke to Arvinder Singh Lovely, uh, ex-Delhi Congress President and now with the BJP. With us on the program, also Shazia Elmi, leader of the BJP, Sharmista Mukherjee, Congress spokesperson, Ashish Ketan of the Ahmadmi Party and senior journalist Aarti Jairat. Uh, let me just uh, start by playing out the interview of uh, Sheila Dixit that we recorded just a while back. I asked him, uh, you know, on the fact that uh, she's been a Chief Minister through Price, uh, yet this time has been missing, in fact, uh, from this Delhi civic election, where there's just so much at stake for her party. Well, we are uh, going around. We've got all our candidates in place. And many of our local leaders and some of our national leaders are also participating. So I think it's not that we are lagging behind in uh, trying to reach out to the people. And also manifestos have been taken out and they give you development because the plank of the political plank of the Congress has always been development and the goodwill, uh, good of the people, that's all. Right, the target of course of uh, many of those who've left the party recently, those high profile exits has been uh, Ajay Marker and his style of functioning. You have also spoken about this saying that he doesn't necessarily reach out or consult. How much of a problem is that and how much is it to blame for where the party finds itself today? Uh, well, that is a bit of a dog back, but let, let us wait for the election results to come out to really be able to judge what we, our impression is, whether it is a correct impression or an incorrect impression. If he has been able to reach out to the people and the Congress wins, uh, gets a good number of seats, then what we are thinking would be proved to be wrong. So let us wait for the re results. Okay, you're saying that you may have a problem with his style of functioning, but uh, if he manages to swing this for the party, then of course the winner will uh, take it all now. But coming back to those high-profile exits, uh, ma'am, how much of a setback do you think it's going to be? What is the dent like? Well, Arvinder Singh Lovely has been a minister in the, in the Congress government. He has also been a PCC uh, you know, adhyaksh in the, in the Congress and uh, for reasons of opportunity, as an opportunist he has gone away from here. It's not that the Congress didn't give him anything, Congress gave him everything that he deserved at that point of time. So he didn't seem to have the patience nor the commitment to the ideology of the Congress and he's gone away for his personal gain. Right, he of course uh, has been arguing that he didn't get a hearing. He kept trying to meet senior leaders. That wasn't allowed. And of course, target has been Ajay Markan as well. Interestingly, Ajay Markan said that he cried when he heard that uh, Arvind and Lovely had uh, left. Not a dull moment really in uh, Indian politics. Sheila Dixit, ma'am, thank you so much for your time. Well, uh, like I said, uh, let's get started with this discussion on the Delhi Dangal right away. Uh, let me come across to you, Ashish Khetan. This is, of course, so much at uh, stake for the Aam Admi Party. In fact, I'm told that we are just uh, going to have have to uh, check uh, that uh, signal to Ashish in just a bit. But uh, in fact, I'm now told that I can go across to him. Not a dull moment in TV studios as well as you can tell. Ashish, uh, let me, I'm just trying to ask you that, you know, there is so much at stake uh, for all the parties involved, but perhaps for no one as much as it is for the Aam Aadmi Party. Wouldn't you agree that the results will now be a referendum for our, for Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as well? Sorry, uh, you are not audible at all. Can you please repeat the question? Yes, uh, sure. I'm just trying to ask you that won't the results be a referendum on Arvind Kejriwal on the Aam Aadmi Party? Oh, well, uh, actually, uh, that would be a completely erroneous way to look at these elections. Uh, while the BJP has been trying it very hard to make the MCD elections a referendum on two years of Aam Aadmi Party government, and we have actually, we, we don't shy away from it, but actually, 
This election is about BJP's rule in MCD for last 10 years. And if the BJP is not ready to give account of its misdeeds and its track record and uh, its history in MCD over the last 10 years, then it basically shows that BJP has a lot to hide. BJP doesn't have an agenda of governance mm -hmm. for the uh, Delhi municipal corporations and, Delhi, and BJP doesn't have a vision for the municipalities of Delhi. Okay. I, I just fail to understand why the BJP is shying away from talking about the basic issues at stake here, which is civic governance, which is sanitation, okay. uh, spread of dengue, malaria. These are the issues on which MCD election should be fought, and these are the issues on BJP should first give uh, an account of its performance All and right. successes and failures okay. over the last 10 years. Okay. Shazia, would you like to come in on that point? Many, of course, would agree that this is one civic election. A civic election, you know, it yes. should all be about civic issues, about the issues that concern this city. But it's been everything but. Why is that? Why has the BJP shied away from taking on issues like, say, sanitation, garbage, better roads, lighting? Well, not at all. If at all, every day there have been uh, so many pressers and details of what BJP has done. And also, I'm sure not all councillors have been great. Some councillors from the same MCD that uh, my uh, former colleague Ashish Khetan talks about have actually been inducted by Amadmi Party and they are the MLAs like Kavar Singh Tawar and all of them. So if they were really so corrupt, I don't know why they were, they were made Amadmi Party MLAs, but that's another story. This time, the entire idea is to have a less, the least human interface when it comes to corruption. Because if only if there is e-governance, so the our entire plank is new. It is the Prime Minister's in, uh, New India, the capital. And there are all new candidates, new entrants. Many of them are women and youngsters. And there is very little scope for any human interface or human uh, corruption. Because of the way the, the plan is. So if you see our agenda, okay. it's very clear. Okay. But this is being said by Ashish Khetan. When there was chicken gunya and malaria, Arvind Kejriwal is in Bangalore, was in Bangalore, tweeting the famous tweet saying, we don't even have money to buy a pen. What can we do? Manish Sisodia was in Finland, flying first class, having a great ga gala time. Okay, At that point of time, Gopal Rai, another minister, was in Chhattisgarh. Uh, when they were needed the most. They have a budget of 5,800 crores for health okay. alone. Okay. And I, B, B, MCD cannot run away from his responsibility. Okay, what, but okay, I remember okay. I'm going to get Ashish to respond to that. Saying, I'll get We will Shazia. give you all the health. We have given you, we have given you a warning. Please work okay. together. Center and state must work together. This okay. is an epidemic. Okay. Nobody from Aam Admi Party was here. Okay, and hang on, Shazia, time, okay, so I'm is, going to get Ashish I mean, to respond that. to that. And I just want to ask you one simple question. Corruption. You've had this big body for the longest time. What about your own track record? Those who say that that's, of course, also been rather questionable. Shazia, but give me a quick answer. Your own track record with the MCD. Yeah, if you see the old track record, you see the how many LED lights there. there. If you see in, right in front of Saket, you just see the beautiful park that has come up. So I think some good work has also been done and some work might not have been very good. But the fact is a lot of things have been done. Look at the pensions. Look at how the trans there has been transparency and everything has been digitized. Okay. So to say nothing has been done and uh, there has been only corruption is also very unfair. It is, it is, like, saying, it is like saying that you know, every councillor has been corrupt. Okay. All right. This is not true because there were right. co Congress councillors and BGP councillors. And so South, South Delhi Corporation is... All right, I've taken your point. Okay, okay you're saying that it's not just been very, about corruption. Well. You're here, not the MCD well. has so not just been about monolithic. corruption. There's lots more to look at. Ashish Kedwan, respond quickly before I get Charmish Thayin. Yeah. Okay, uh, see, I would not like to burden you with the uh, rhetoric and statistics. I would just like to read from the manifesto that BJP has released for this MCD election. Now the manifesto talks about basically 8-10 big points and out of 8-10 those big points, 6 points are on sanitation that they will do this, they will do that to clean the city of garbage, to clean the city of Dhalaus where garbage is always over spilling and they will install fixed compactor station and blah blah blah. Now the party which has been in power for 10 years, they should have been given their report card that this is what we have done. Okay. What stopped the BJP from doing all this for 10 years okay. when they're but in they power? Have. And okay. they have. three I years, Narendra Modi ji has been prime minister. Tomorrow, if you need what one, has, of what we have done. What has Modi ji done? 
I'm sorry, I can't, couldn't even hear you. What was the question? I don't blame you, but I was just trying to ask you that for those who say that the big battle in Delhi seems to be being played out between the BJP and the Aam Aadmi Party. The Congress, of course, has to get its house in order with all those high-profile exits, questions over the functioning of Ajay Markan. How would you respond? Well, firstly, who says the big fight is between BJP and Aam Aadmi Party? I think after the Rajori Garden elections came out, even BJP also said the fight is between BJP and Congress. After the uh, Punjab election results were out, after Goa election re results are out, nobody takes Ahmadbi party seriously anymore. Secondly, you are talking about the big exit, big exit, exit of Congress. What about a much larger number of smaller exits from BJP? For example, 21 sitting councillors who were denied tickets, they are fighting as independents. Mm -hmm. And well, what about Aam Aadmi Party that, you know, first they declared the list of 14 candidates, mm -hmm. then they changed it. And all of those 14 candidates, candidates are very unhappy now. And many of them, they have joined other parties. What about those people? Why are just one big person okay. who has left? Uh, Arvinder Singh lovely just on the eve of the election and why is just being talked about and you have to understand that MCD elections are absolutely grassroots level elections mm -hmm. here a lot depends on the councillor and his outreach program his contact with the people okay. so here the exit of one person is not really going to make any difference okay okay the only reason I guess why there's focus on that is because he has held important portfolios and, and, and all of that. But I, I take the point that you're making. You're saying that everyone sort of has uh, faced this kind of issue. Uh, Arti Jairat, come in here at this point. It's, it's been a shrill, high decibel debate. Like I said at the beginning, it doesn't feel anything like a civic election. Even the issues that are being discussed haven't really been around what they should be. No. Why is it such a mahal? Yes. I know it seems to be like a national election mm. rather than a really local civic mm. election. And you know what Ashish Khetan is saying about the performance of uh, the MCD mm. under the BJP for the last 10 years. Mm. I mean, there is no question that today, mm. I think Delhi is a much filthier city. Mm. I've lived here for mm. the last 40 years mm. and I have seen the deterioration in Delhi. Mm. It, the kind of garbage you see all over, the you know overflowing drains, the mulba lying around. Mm. I mean, it's really filthy. Mm. But unfortunately for the Aam Aadmi Party, they've not been able to convey this message mm. to the people at all. Mm. You know, they've been so busy defending their own track record mm. that they've not been able to convey this message to the people mm. about the terrible functioning of the MCD over the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately, it's a battle of perception. Mm. The fact is, for the Aam Aadmi Party, they did badly in uh, Punjab mm. and they lost Goa very badly. Mm. And I think that that has created a negative perception. Mm. They had hoped to coast to victory on mm. the strength of a victory in Punjab. Mm. But unfortunately, it's worked the other way. Mm. For the BJP, on the other hand, that That's victory in UP Absolutely. has given them this huge, huge boost, right. boost in Delhi. Right. Right. And We've people seen are what's not happened even, in, in people the are not even looking well today, at, this, right. at you know, the local issues in mm. Delhi. Mm. They're just looking at the fact that the BJP seems like a winner party. Okay. Okay. And, and that's giving them okay. a, a huge edge in Delhi. Okay.